Hello and welcome to mycadsite.com and this video tutorial is going to show a couple of things that I cover in tutorial 3-15 and this one's really just some 3D exercises and projects to get you uh, more familiar with the tools that you've learned in the previous lessons. So the first one I'm just going to quickly go over and this is a chair it's uh, drawn in solids as you can see and one of the projects on this lesson is just to modify this chair and I'm not going to go through the whole thing um, it's easy to draw but I just wanted to show how the fillet command works on a 3D object so I can just start my fillet command and I'm going to set the radius to 4 and if I pick this corner and press enter you can see that now it's got a rounded corner and I can do that on the other side just fill it radius I'm just going to regen that and there it is and one other option that's really good to know when you're using the fillet command on 3d objects is the chain options so I'm just going to do this again and I'm going to set this time the radius will be 0.25 and what I want to do is put a round edge on the top of this cushion so I'm going to select this and press my uh, enter button and you'll see I've got an option down there for chain so I'm just going to type in C for chain and then I'm going to pick these other edges and press enter and now you can see that it's uh, just got a nice smooth radius right around the whole thing there so that's how that part works so I'm gonna go on to another part that's uh, covered and that's this part here I'm just gonna go back to my top view here now this is a gasket that's been drawn in 2D and what we're gonna do is turn it into a 3D object and normally when I'm doing this I will keep my original 2D object because I may need it. Maybe I've already got this set up in uh, layouts and I need it printed out and such. So what I'm going to do is just copy everything over. I don't really need the dimensions so I'm going to skip most of those. And then I'm just going to erase these center lines here. And now I can zoom in on this part of it here and you'll see I missed that top of that one so I just need to copy that and I'm just gonna go from this quadrant to that quadrant so that's all lined up nice so the easiest way to do this is to just use the region command and what I'm gonna do is select everything here and press enter and since it's changed colors since I'm on my dimension layer which I shouldn't be but I left it on just so you could see the color change now if I list this you'll see that it is actually a region so I'm going to close that again so since these are now regions I can use the subtract command so just SU enter and what I want to subtract from is this big area here and what I want to subtract is all of these circles now if I go to my southwest view and zoom in a little now I'm going to extrude and you see I've just selected this one object and I'm just going to put in a .125 and so now if I zoom in and do a hide you can see that it's a 3D object it's all one piece I can select it and it's a single piece so that's one way of quickly turning a 2D object into a 3D object if it's just a simple extrusion and such so anyway this has been my CAD site uh, tutorial 3-15 check out the whole website I'll, I walk you from the very basic beginnings right into 3d drafting and rendering 
and teach you everything you'll probably ever need to know about AutoCAD and then some. Thanks for watching. Bye.